All right, all right, all right. What is the speed of an electron that has a kinetic energy of 500 kilo electron volts? That was the problem this week. We all know by now, of course, that if you use Newton's definition for kinetic energy, which is one half mv squared, that you find the speed for the electron which is larger than the speed of light, which is a big no-no for Einstein. He published in 1905 his famous theory for special relativity, which changed completely the way we look at the world. It's among the most important theories of all time. And strangely enough, he didn't get the Nobel Prize for it. Yes, I know, he did get the Nobel Prize, but that was for Brownian motion and for photoelectric effect. But he never got it for special relativity. One of the results of special relativity is the famous equation E equals mc squared. The equation is so famous that my mother, who surely didn't know anything about physics, knew that equation. She didn't know what it means, but she knew that equation. You can't avoid it. You'll find that equation on sugar bags, on t-shirts, on cups, on teapots. You find it everywhere in the world, even though most people don't know what it means. What does it mean? It means that Einstein demonstrated in his theory that mass is equivalent to energy. If you know the mass and you multiply it by c squared, you get energy. What that means, though, is remarkable. Because it means that if you could convert that mass into other forms of energy, for instance, electromagnetic radiation, then you could lower the mass and get back electromagnetic radiation. It opened the world to nuclear energy. That's what nuclear energy is all about. You convert mass into other forms of radiation, other forms of energy. The atomic bomb at the end of World War II that was thrown on Hiroshima destroyed the city. The energy that was released was about 10 to the 13 joules. 10 to the 13 joules. That means only one tenth of a gram of mass was converted into radiation. One tenth of a gram. Mc squared is then 10 to the 13 joules. Mind boggling. If you burn coal and you want to release 10 to the 13 joules, you need half a million kilograms of coal. But if you could convert mass completely into other forms of energy, it takes only a tenth of a gram. That's what nuclear energy is all about. It's so sad that it started so destructively in 1945. How does Einstein now define kinetic energy? 
e equals mc squared was just one part of his special relativity. Let's take a look at how that worked. The math is very simple actually. You ready for that? Okay. This should work. The mass of an electron is 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. If you want to know how much energy that represents, you can multiply this by c squared, and then you get the energy in joules. Most physicists, and certainly physicists who study nuclear physics, I did my PhD in nuclear physics, will never express the energy of that mass in terms of joules, but we do that in terms of kiloelectron volts. And here you see the conversion, how you go from joules to electron volts. So mc squared of an electron is 511 kilo electron volts. I can dream that number. I really can because I lived with it for my PhD research day and night. When I drive on the highway, there is often a sign that says for road information, dial 511. So you can dial the number on the phone. And when I see that, I always think of an electron. 511. Alright, so the total energy of an electron, we have to include that mass energy, is mc squared plus the kinetic energy. And that, according to Einstein's theory, is gamma times mc squared. And gamma is the famous Lorentz contraction vector. So you may want to look that up on the web. You can Google Lorentz contraction. You will find that gamma there. So, this is 511 keV. The kinetic energy was 500 keV. So the sum of the two is 1011 keV. So we know that gamma mc squared is 1011 keV. So gamma is 1011 divided by 511. And that is just a little less than 2. I think it's 1.98. So gamma is 1.98. But gamma is 1 over the square root of 1 minus v over c squared. So, problem is solved. If you know that this is 1.98, it's trivial to calculate what v is. It's 0 0.83 times the speed of light, and that translates into 200 59,000 kilometers per second, which is less than the speed of light, which is 300,000 kilometers per second. So, if you simply understand the meaning of this, and you're smart enough to only work in KEVs, then this problem can be solved in two minutes. Even though I haven't seen any solutions yet, because I taped this long before I posted, this is an equation that many of you may have used. It also follows from Einstein's theory of special relativity. So the total energy is the square root of m squared c to the fourth, the square of this, plus p squared c squared, but by p 
is the momentum of the electron. It's not mv, but it is gamma mv. And so, since you know the total energy, this is an equation with only one unknown, and that is v. Because gamma is a function of v. So this is an equation, one equation with one a known as v. And if you use that, it takes you a lot more time than the first method, you will find exactly the same answer. All right, so that was special relativity. If this was too tough, and I will know that, of course, when I have seen new solutions, at this moment in time I haven't even posted the problem, let alone that I've seen new solutions. If this is too tough, then we will return soon to Newtonian mechanics again, but I thought this was worth a try. And maybe some of you have learned something. If nothing else, you probably learned the astounding consequences of the equation E equals mc squared. Yes, of course, we are still friends, I hope. Have a nice day and take care. <laughs>